So now to a modern family custody battle that is drawing new scrutiny and discussion about embryo ethics. Actress Sofia Vergara opened up to radio host Howard Stern on Monday about her ongoing fight with her ex-fiance Nick Loeb, who's suing for custody of the couples of the former couple's frozen embryos. Break up. And you say, look, I don't want to have a baby with you. I'm not involved with you anymore. Can you blame me? I can't blame you. <laughs> I, and by the way, a child needs a mother. A mother and a loving, and a, more than a mother needs a loving relationship of parents. All right, so for his part, Loeb, in a New York Times op-ed, says it's his view that keeping the embryos frozen forever is tantamount to killing them and that this is about saving lives and being pro-parent. Dr. Mesh Seibel is a professor of obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Massachusetts. He's also editor of My Menopause magazine. Doctor, it's great to have you here. Obviously, this is getting a lot of attention because of Sofia Vergara yeah. and the fact that this is with her ex-fiance and there's this dispute going on. So explain, though, how this type of dispute could become more common. Do we have enough laws in place as the fertility advancements increase? Well, I wrote about this in 1996. I wrote a book about this as something that was coming forward. It was called Family Building Through Egg and Sperm Donation. And this is just now at a point where society has catching up a little bit with the legal issues behind it. Because what's happening is people are waiting longer to have babies, there's more frozen embryos. And most importantly, 20 years ago, you could freeze an embryo or a pre-embryo, you could thaw it, but the successes weren't very good. So right now, the success rates are about 30% with thawed pre-embryos. So this is going to be a real reality. So doctor, typically though, when a couple enters into making a decision like this, don't they agree upon the conditions ahead of time based on any type of influence that might happen in the course of their relationship. Wouldn't this have been something that both parties decided upon upon entering into this type of fertility treatment? Well, of course they do. They have legal documents that they sign, and they agree to how they're going to deal with these embryos in the event of their death or divorce and so forth. But of course, the issue is, is that things change, as we all know, times change, and when those things change, people change their minds on what they thought about. And it becomes a real issue because about 10% of women are going into menopause before their age of 45. They're, and so we have that group. Then we have so many women that are dealing with cancer treatments. Frozen embryos are going to be incredibly right. common. And there's about 600,000 to a million embryos frozen now. So this is just the tip of the iceberg for what's going to be happening. Dr. May Seibel. Uh, Dr. Seibel, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Pleasure. So, Paris.